With ScreenDraw, you can add arrows, shapes, and numbered steps on the screen while you are recording with Snagit Video. It's just one more way that Snagit helps you communicate clearly and effectively with others. Let me show you how ScreenDraw works. From the Snagit Capture window, click the Video tab. Toggle this Screen Draw button on if you'd like this feature to be open and ready to go as soon as you start the video recording. If you toggle it off here, you can always turn it on and off while you're recording. Click this button to set how long you'd like the drawing objects to remain on the screen before they start to fade out. The minimum fade time is 1 second, and the maximum is 9,999 seconds, in case you were wondering. My recommendation is between 3 and 5 seconds, but you may want to experiment with this and see what looks best to you. I'll leave these other video settings the way they are for this tutorial, but please check out the Record a Video tutorial for more details about recording with a webcam and selecting your microphone. When ready to record, click the Capture button. Either click the Full Screen button to capture everything you see, or click and drag the crosshairs to select the region of the screen to capture. Release the mouse button and the Snagit Video toolbar appears. Since I turned on the Screen Draw button in the Capture window, the Screen Draw tools are already open. You can move and reposition this mini toolbar on your screen. Just know that if it's moved inside of the recording area while recording, it may be captured in the video. I'll start a recording and walk through the draw features with you. You can draw arrows, shapes, or add numbered steps while recording. As you draw on the screen, each annotation will begin to fade out after the specified fade time that was set. In this example, I set it to 3 seconds. Click the color button to see four color choices to select. The colors displayed are based on the current theme that is selected from your quick styles in the Snagit editor. In this example, I'm just using the basic theme. You can also use keyboard shortcuts to select the drawing tool you want to use. Use A for arrow, S for square, and the number 1 for the step tool. You will need to click to select the color that you want to use. If you use the step tool and the final step number fades out, the numbers will continue where you left off when you resume. To start over with 1, just press the hotkey 1 on your keyboard. Click this button to turn off the draw features, or use the keyboard shortcuts Ctrl Shift D to both turn on and turn off screen draw. When you stop the recording, your video opens in the Snagit editor, ready to review and share. If you're asking yourself right now, so when would I want to use ScreenDraw? Here are a few ideas. Your coworker asks you to provide some feedback on a project she is working on. Open it up on your screen and use Snagit Video plus ScreenDraw to clearly provide the feedback with her. Another example is to provide a quick how-to training tutorial to walk someone through a process or workflow, or to visually answer that customer question that seems to be asked over and over and over. Before I let you go, here are some tips to keep in mind while using the ScreenDraw feature. When ScreenDraw is turned on, the drawing tools become the active window. You can still scroll the recording area with your mouse, but you can't click links or buttons in the recording window until you turn off the ScreenDraw feature. If the keyboard shortcuts Control shift d conflict with shortcuts used in other apps you're recording, you can customize the ScreenDraw hotkeys from the Snagit Capture window. For Windows, just go to File, Capture Preferences, and then the Hotkeys tab. Customize the ScreenDraw hotkeys and click OK to save the changes. For Mac, select the Snagit menu, Preferences or Settings, and the Keyboard tab. I know there are lots of use cases out there, and I hope this tutorial gets you excited about trying out ScreenDraw in your next Snagit video. To learn more, please check out our other Snagit tutorials. Thanks for watching.